Well, hello, welcome back to the channel. It's been a while since I've done a video in the fish room and this might be one of the last. Um, if you guys haven't been to the live stream, you don't know what's going on, I'm gonna get you caught up real quick. Uh, my best friend of nearly 20 years has passed away and uh, he was also my landlord. So it looks like I'm gonna have to be moving here and that means I have to break down um, my fish rooms, both of them. And so that's why, you know, I've kind of missed some videos. Um, things have been pretty hectic. I've, you know, I've been just trying to get rid of fish as fast as I can. I've been selling tanks and that's kind of where I'm at right now. I don't know where I'm going to be moving yet. So um, as far as what I'm keeping, I just don't know. Now, the good news is, is, you know, Corey's got a fish room. Um, he's going to take my Mabu puffer, my Harry puffer, and uh, a couple different species of pretty rare rainbows that I have. And then I also have Danny, who's almost done with her fish garage or fish shed, I should say. And, you know, she's going to be available to take a couple species for me as well. Uh, but most of them, a majority of my fish, I will be having to get rid of. My mini musk turtles, I'm going to have to get rid of. Um, I'm probably going to be getting rid of my reptiles as well for now because, like I said, I just don't know what's going to happen or, or where I'm going to be going. But that's enough of that. I don't want to spend too much time on that. It's kind of a downer. Uh, in the meantime, while I've been taking down tanks, I have set back up a 125-gallon tank where I've just been tossing in all my community fish that were in all these tanks that are now gone behind me. And I think it's really cool. So that's what we're going to look at right now. I'm not going to lie. A lot of people are going to think this tank is really ugly. But I think it's really cool and I don't have a lot of room. I've got tanks all over the floor in here, uh, emptying them, getting rid of them. But I think this is uh, actually pretty cool. So I don't got a lot of light on here and I've got to hang on back right in the front because there's just these two sponge filters and that just wasn't enough for all these fish. But I've got a group of Chilotherina rainbows here. We've got uh, lemon tetras. There's a group of lemon tetras. Now the Danios, actually I don't remember the name of the Danios. They're, it's just a scientific name. Uh, they don't have a common name yet. They're pretty rare. You can see we have some red Beckford pencil fish in here as well. Oh, there's so much stuff. Honey grommies over here. If we get down here in the substrate, we might see some plecos. Tell you what, I'm gonna drop a couple of these extra large root tabs in here i don't stick them to the glass because you know i just don't so we're just going to drop them in there there goes one and in no time we should start seeing some catfish stir by corridors in here if it wants to focus on them and honestly this tank has just been so fun to watch it's really there's just so much activity it's not aquascaped at all everything is just thrown in here like i said i've just been doing everything in a hurry oh here comes one this is a short fin green dragon. Well, not really a green dragon because it's a short fin, but a short fin green bushy nose pleco. Uh, oh, there's a pistos in here as well. So, oh, here comes a nice and beautiful male right there. They're going to really stir up this substrate. I probably should have gravel back the substrate before I put everything in here, but, you know, it's just temporary. So, what, what are you going to do? Oh, here we go right here. The banjo catfish. A lot of people kind of shy away from the banjo catfish because they think they need live food or frozen food, but nope. Oh, did you just see him burrow in there? That was awesome. I hope it caught that. Here's another one. Now here's a long fin green dragon. Really starting to murky up my water, but this has been really just fun to watch. And you know, sometimes the last couple weeks I have gotten a little, maybe a little stressed out, but uh, you know, I can't really blame me. And uh, I just come down here and kind of chill out and watch this tank and uh, it's just been really fun, really relaxing. So if you haven't noticed, there's been like a lot of top five, top X videos, compilation videos, if you will. And there's probably going to be a lot more as I continue to uh, go down this path of uh, uncertainty. I don't know. So <laughs> still trying to get out videos for you. Uh, I'm going to be going camping this weekend. So if you're not aware of our camping channel, uh, Jimmy and I go camping all the time, every other week. And, and uh, Corey from Aquarium Co-op has started to join us. So he's going to be going and uh, it's just, it's going to be some much needed uh, R&R right now as these guys tear this apart. The, these banjo catfish, I'm telling you, they are crazy awesome. And just crazy as well. They're not gonna be able to actually eat any of this until it's been in the water for a while um, and, and starts breaking apart, but, oh man. 
They're really mucking up my water though. The honey gouramis just kind of chill in this guppy grass. Here we got a, the, a long fin, a mountain minnow, white cloud mountain minnow. But anyways, like I said, um, just, just a lot of uncertainty right now. Uh, I don't know where I'm gonna end up. As you may or may not know, I've got three large dogs, I've got a bajillion fish tanks, and there's not a lot of people willing to rent to someone like me. So the search is on, but like I said, I do have some time to figure it out, thankfully. And uh, until then, you know, I'll be visiting other people's fish rooms, um, you know, getting content that way, more compilation videos, and of course, always the Monday live stream at 5 p.m. Pacific. If you're not going to those, you should because it's a lot of fun. We get about 400 people just talking about fish, and uh, you know, that's pretty fun. So check it out. Well, that's all I got for you. Just a super quick update, and um, you know what? I'll see you all next time.